Yeah, nagpasa siya. Thank you. So, one take lang. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a product review of this gadget that are intended for diabetes use. So to give you a quick background, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes last 2017 and way back then, I was doing a finger pricks like for minimum of four times a day. So it's pretty style. So I bought this set for 7,000 pesos sa official store ng Abbott sa Shopee. They also have this official store sa Lazada. As for checking, you can also buy this set sa Mercury Drugs. If you have your PWD or Senior Citizen card, basta dapat kasama siya sa prescription ng doctor para mabigyan kayo ng discount. You can also buy a separate sensor for 3,500 or a separate scanner for 3,500 as well. So this is how a scanner looks like. Yeah. Touch screen siya. Okay, next. Let's start the sensor. So today I'm going to start my second sensor. I decided to vlog this kasi nga the first one kind of freaked me out kasi nga meron siyang karayom na medyo thick and medyo mahaba compared dun sa needle na ginagamit ko for my insulin shots. I'll be starting to remove this first. Oh, this is my first time. Actually, I don't know. Medyo masakit siya. Sabi ano daw, yangat lang. Medyo makapit na yung adhesive niya. And I was, I am thankful kasi for the past 14 days, hindi siya natanggal. Actually, nabangga siya sa door frame once. Pero hindi siya natanggal. Most people sa US, they are using this patch para mag dumikit talaga siya mastic kasi usually hindi sila inabot ng 14 days natatanggal na yung sa kanila. So far sa akin, yung first sensor ko kahit nag-workout ako nagpapawisan, nag-stick pa rin siya kasi anyway guys, kapag ka nagka-problem pala sa sensor yung ayaw na siya ma-scan, basta yung mga nagkaroon ng error sa sensor, you can call Abbott customer service, yung Freestyle Libre, uh, they will replace your sensor kasi mahal niya tapos hindi mo siya magagamit for 14 days. Parang sobrang sayang lang. Ay, kumangat na siya. Ayan. Ito siyang black. Ito yung how a sensor look like. But hindi siyang karayon. At first, it looks like karayon. But ito na siya. Ito. Yun. The adhesive are still in here. So, I need to remove this. Oh. It's pasa. It's a pasa. Oh. Yeah, not pasa siya. Thank you. Pasa siya. So I'm getting ready to put my second sensor. Abila, to sha. Then natin sha unboxing lang sa sensor. Yeah, sha. Ito yung applicator. Tapos nandito mismo yung sensor. Tapos may kasama din sha ng two alcohol pads. Then sha. Then yung sha. Applicator. Plus, ano? Tama siya. Sensor. So, yun. Ito, itong guhit na to, tsaka itong guhit na to, dapat maglalock yan siya. Magkapantay dapat sila. Yun. Kaya mag-click siya ng ganun. O, si Angat mo na siya. Is, ayan, nandito yung mismo karayom niya. Okay. Uh, make sure na tuyo siya before mo siya i-apply kasi para talagang kakapit. Adhesive. 
Medyo ito yung nakakatakot na part. Yung ipupush mo na siya. Kasi yung pakaramdam. Pabaon yung... I think pumabaon lang yung karayin. Tapos, mawala na siya. Yun. So, hold it for maybe 30 seconds or 1 minute. Para it's okay nga mag-wait ka na medyo matagal. Basta, alam mo nakatit siya. Mahirap kasi yung matatanggal siya kagal. And then, that's it. Yeah, it sticks. Hopefully, the second sensor magtagal din siya ng 14 days. So, naiiwan pala yung mukha yung sa loob niya. Kaya yung natitira na lang, yung talagang nakabaon is no longer a needle. Parang ano lang siya, uh, parang walis tingting. Parang walis tingting na lang siya. Ganyan na lang kaliit. Click mo lang yan siya and start new sensor. Then I need scan this. Here. Yan. And then, sabi niya, new sensor is starting up after 60 minutes. So, I need to wait for 60 minutes before ako makapag-scan ulit. Actually, if you're going to ask me if this is worth your 7,000 pesos, for me, yes. During workout days, so kung nag-workout ako, normally, nagigising ako in the middle of the night. Kapag madaling araw, tapos yun, naramdaman ko sobra nagubutom na ako, nagahipo na ako, yung hindi, wala na akong time. Alam ko yung pakiramdam, wala na akong time para mag-break, magpadugunan daliri ko para i-check siya. So, diretso na kagad ako. Kuha na kagad ako dito. Hypo treatment. Ito nga juice. Laloklakin ko na kagad yan siya. Tapos after 50 minutes, or kapag uh, nag-okay na ako, yung hindi na ako nanginginig, or feeling ko hihimatayin kasi ako. Yun, saka lang ako makakapag finger break. Unlike with this flash glucose monitoring system, tatapat ko lang na ganun. Tatapat ko lang malalaman ko na kung anong levels ko. Tapos, less hassle. Lalo na din kapag ka during workout or before going, before workout, I need to check my levels. Kasi for ako, like, mataas yung blood sugar levels ko. Parang wala rin energy. Mabilis ako mapagod mag-workout. So, I need to be on the normal level before I'm going to work out. Also, I need to check my blood glucose level during workout. Kasi there are times that I'm hypo na ako. I need to hypo na ako. Kailangan ko na mag candy or anything na sweet na drinks na may sugar. Yun, para ma-stabilize yung blood sugar levels ko at hindi ako mag-collapse. Ayoko at saka ayoko yung feeling na nag-hypo. Yun yung worst. Yung pag nag-hyper ako, Normal inaantok ako. Pero kapag uh, high po, naniminig ako. Yung alamig ng pakiramdam ko, feeling ko magkukulaps ako. Yun yung ayun ko. Kaya as much as possible, kung kaya kong maiwasan, gagawin ko in with the help of this schedule. Kaya lang, for 7,000, it doesn't guarantee na 100% accurate siya. There are times you still have to check I still have to check. I need to verify if it's really low or it's not. Uh, pinapakita niya 60 kasi it's low na pag 60. Pero kapag chinecheck ko siya sa manual break, ano, nasa 90 siya, ganun, nasa 100 pa siya. So, basta depende rin kung ano yung nararamdam. Yung kapag nag-scan ako ngayon, ang parang lumalabas sa kanya is yung glucose levels ko 15 minutes ago. Unlike kapag ka nag finger prick ako, ano siya, accurate kung ano yung this moment, at this moment, kung ano yung glucose levels ko, yun yung lalabas. So, they say mas accurate pa rin yung finger prick. So, every time na nag na notify siya na you are high or low, you have to check pa rin. Kung meron ka namang pambili, why not? Kung wala, dun pa rin tayo sa old. Hindi, mas okay pa rin yung old, kaya lang. Continuous monitoring talaga for better management. This one, I think I'm... I was going to experiment lang. Kasi nga, expensive talaga siya. 3,000. Hey, kung magla-last siya na 14 days, you need four, two sensors in a month, which cost 7,000 pesos. I was thinking na maybe I should use this for three months. And then after that, I'll have my HBN, HBA1C check kung magtutuma sila. Or kung magkakaroon ng improvement kasi yung last na HBA1C ko is last year pa siya. 
eh, medyo matakas siya. So, ayun guys, hindi ko na antayin matapos yung 60 minutes. I'm going to end this video. So, thank you for watching. Hope meron kayong natutunan or something na pwede nyong i-apply or hopefully meron, medyo naliwanagan kayo. See you guys again soon. Bye!